children today we are going to revise lesson number 1 food and health children we have already studied this lesson in this lesson we have studied in detail about food various nutrients found in the food about diseases various types of diseases and how they are caused now we are going to revise this lesson before we start revising the lesson did you all start studying for the exam very good so how are you studying i told you while studying you have to go to the lesson thoroughly okay so let us start the revision so the first question is fill in the blanks and the first one dash is spread by rat fleas so what is the correct answer children right the correct answer is plague plague is spread by rat fleas second one dash are chemicals used to kill insects what are they called right they are called as insecticides third one food containing carbohydrates and fats are called dash food so what are they called right they are called as energy giving food because carbohydrates and fats give energy to the body that's why they are called as energy giving food so let us see the next set of questions so this is choose the correct option so the first one when a person's body is pale and he becomes tired easily he is suffering from what do you think what is the correct answer children there are options like goiter rickets scurvy and anemia so the correct answer is d anemia anemia is caused by the deficiency of mineral called iron when iron is deficient in somebody's body the body becomes pale and the person sta- becomes tired easily the next one which among these cannot be added to food to preserve it so what are the things which can be added to food to preserve it and what are they called right they are called as preservatives now see the options water sugar salt and vinegar so what is the answer children the answer is a water because water is not a preservative whereas sugar salt and vinegar can be added to food to preserve it now the third one a condition when a person cannot see clearly in the dark or at night what is it called right the correct answer is b night blindness night blindness occurs because of the deficiency of vitamin a and in this condition a person cannot see clearly in the dark or at night it is called as night blindness so let's see the next set of questions that is true or false so first one the best way to prevent a disease is by controlling the breeding and spreading of germs so is it true or false right that is true why because many diseases are spread through germs and if the breeding and spreading of germs will be controlled we can prevent the disease by spreading the next one the bad smell in the food is a sign that germs and molds have started growing in them that is again true because when the germs and molds start growing in the food the food's texture and color changes 
also it starts smelling bad now the next one allergy is a communicable disease so that is false allergy is not a communicable disease it cannot be transferred from one person to another let us see the next set of questions now identify the given figure spread of disease through air spread of disease through infected food so what do you think what is the answer children right the answer is b spread of disease through infected food question is answer in one word when you are solving this question in the exam you have to click on the correct answer so the first is standing or walking with a bent or hunched body so what is it called children that is called as slouching because posture is a position in which you walk stand or sit and when somebody walks sits or stands with a bent or hunched body that is called as slouching now the next one disease caused due to lack of right kind of food in the diet so is it infectious disease or deficiency disease that is called as deficiency disease when our diet has lack of a particular kind of nutrient we have a deficiency disease the de deficiency may be the deficiency of any vitamin or mineral so and what about infectious disease a disease that can spread from a healthy person from an infected person to a healthy person it is called as infectious disease so the next one a chemical used to kill germs it can be used to wipe floors so what is it called that is called as disinfectant because insecticide is a chemical which is used to kill the insects and a chemical used to kill the germs which we often use in the to wipe the floors or in the bathrooms that is called as disinfectant let let us see the next set of questions so the next question is answer the following by using appropriate words from the brackets given so here what you have to do children you have to choose the correct word for the blank the lack of dash lack of food or exercise makes your muscles dash and flabby so the lack of exercise makes your muscles strong no weak the lack of exercise make your muscles weak and flabby extra dash that accumulates in your body so extra protein or fat answer is fat extra fat that accumulates in your body makes you overweight and healthy or unhealthy right the answer is unhealthy so now what will be the answer read the complete answer it should make a sense so i am going to read it again lack of exercise makes your muscles weak and flabby extra fat that accumulates in your body makes you overweight and unhealthy this is the next question a dash food or diet that contains so what do you think what should come in the blank children a diet that contains high or right amount of all the so what we will put here right amount of all the vitamins or nutrients we will put here nutrients as well as water and roughage 
is called a dash perfect diet or balanced diet so balanced diet so a diet that contains the right amount of all the nutrients as well as water and roughage is called a balanced diet let us see the next question so the doctor has advised you to eat the following things you have the deficiency of vitamin a vitamin b or vitamin d the options are carrot milk liver butter green leafy vegetables sweet potato yellow fruits and vegetables so you may have the deficiency of what what is the answer children deficiency of vitamin a let let us see the next question the doctor has advised you to eat the following things you have the deficiency of again vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c or vitamin d the things are orange other citrus fruits cauliflower tomato capsicum and chili so these all are these are all the sources of vitamin c so the answer is vitamin c so we are going to end this session here sai ram